Hi girls, we are starting a new lesson today. We are going to learn about Bible survey. In today's lesson, we're going to answer this question. What is the Bible? The memory verse for this lesson is, All scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 Do you have a favorite book? Many people do. The world has many types of books, including storybooks, novels, school books, how-to books, cooking books, and dictionaries. But one book is more famous than any other book in the world. It has been translated over 3,378 languages. Over 2.5 billion copies has been sold worldwide. Can you guess which one? That's right, it's the Bible. The Bible is more special than any other book written for several good reasons. First, the Bible is the only book in the world sent to us from God. God spoke to 40 very good men over a period of 1,600 years. They wrote what God told them to write. In fact, over 2,600 times, the writers say these are God's words, not theirs. Some people call the Bible God's revelation because God revealed or showed himself to us through the Bible. We can know what God thinks and what he wants by, write, by reading the Bible. You need to know several facts about the Bible. The Tablet of Contents is printed in front of your Bible and will help you find each book of the Bible. Two major divisions of the Bible are called Old Testament and New Testament. The Old Testament book has 39 books and the New Testament has 27 books. Most books are divided into chapters each chapter is divided into verses. When you see a scripture reference in print, it looks like this. This is the book, this is the chapter, and this is the verse. When you go to the library, you find different types of books. Think of your Bible as being a library. One big book with several different types of books inside. In the Old Testament, we have five groups. First, the Pentateuch means five books, begins with Genesis to Deuteronomy. The second group is the history books, are the next 12 books, Joshua through Esther. These first two groups tell the story of the Jews, God's chosen people. The third group is the poetry books, are made out of five books from Job to Song of Songs. The fourth group is the five books of the major prophets, begin with Isaiah and end with Daniel. The fifth group is the books of the minor prophets. It starts with Hosea and continues through the end of the Old Testament. The New Testament has four major sections. The first is the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The second section is the book of Acts. is the history of how the early church began. The third section is the books of letters, were written by Paul and other apostles to groups of Christians of their time. This section is separated into two groups. Paul Epistles. There are 13 books from Romans to Philemon and the general epistles, which are eight books from Hebrews to Jude. The word epistle is another word for letters. The letters help us live Christian lives. The fourth section is the book of prophecy or revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. Some books on the Bible are very long or very short. The longest book is Psalms with 150 chapters. 
The shorter is 2 John with only 13 verses. We need to realize that most important of all, the Bible is God's word for us to get to know Him better.